Welcome back guys. You are with us on a bright, shiny Saturday, full sun all day, few clouds, but generally full sun. We are super grateful for it. This weather is absolutely a dream and we hope it never ends. Work has begun on round two, the second coat of the Engine Bay Paint Show. So let's get stuck in and see how that's going. We're Mel and Paul. This is our home. We're slowly fixing her up and doing our best to have a good time doing it. This is our version of Boat Life. Subscribe and welcome aboard. the remains of the red oxide and the first coat of primer well underway. If you have a look just behind me you will see that the fresh coat of primer is finished. Paul has managed to get that done. The primer sort of helps adding to the picture of the finished product. He'll be waiting for that to dry, checking it tomorrow, and then hopefully starting with the bold paint. I've been out at the supermarket, left my grocery shopping for a Saturday, which is obviously a gigantic mistake, <laughs> especially when the weather is so good. Very exciting lives we lead here on Annabelle. And I came home to this lovely image of Paul. He has found the coolest most comfortable, calming place on the boat. While during the winter it might be unbearable to walk along the floor or lie on the floor, it is the coldest part of the boat and definitely where you want to be in the summer. The other option to keep cool is to be outside where at least there is a little bit of a breeze and uh, that saves you a bit from overheating. These boats definitely can tend to get a little bit toasty. Paul has been looking for a fan. We kind of held out and we're waiting for the right time but the summer seems to be here now, thank heavens, and uh, that time is now. <laughs> tending to break a sweat on board these days. We definitely are not complaining, just so you know. We definitely love the heat. We will take it any day and are already feeling nervous that it is going to go away. We want the summer to last forever. And also because we've got so many boat jobs to do that if we don't get them done in the good weather, we need the summer to last for us to be able to do those jobs and still leave us some time to get out for a cruise. All closed up. Yep, someone has to work around here. Yeah. Yep, and you know it's you. Incoming. On the old topic of the bike, thank you so much for all your amazing encouragement on the video where I was relearning to ride. It was so nice to hear a lot of you have had similar experiences. So thank you for all your continued support for all aspects of our lives here on this boat. What's going on here? Can you get the old fishing rod out? Sometimes 
on a hot day like today, there is no use in slaving away at the kitchen and you just want to keep it simple. I've said before that I feel uninspired in the kitchen lately and that's always when it's good just to go back to basic, simple food from your childhood, call it a day and enjoy. Lunch is up, honey. Good morning. Just back from doing my usual Sunday morning laundry trip. It's a little bit of a gloomy day and uh, made more gloomy by the fact that I literally woke up at 6.30 and went to do the laundry so I could get in first. And after doing the loads, finishing after about two hours worth of laundry time, not one other person was in that laundry room. And I feel like I could have woken up now at 9 a.m. and done the exact same thing, but had a lion. Someone was walking along the path when I was coming back now and said, oh, you need a washer on your boat. So I said, yes, we've got one. But literally, if I had to use the washer on the boat, I'd be doing three to four loads a week when I can use the large washers in the laundry room for free. I mean, if you're gonna live in a marina and not take advantage of the perks, it just becomes not worth it anymore. I can use those ones for free and do one load Sometimes two loads if I need to do whites, but is much quicker, even though it's an early morning and a bit of a walk. Look at that guys, progress. And the first look at what the finished product will look like. The gray looks so fresh. How's it hanging here? Don't look okay. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst, how would you rate this as out of all the boat jobs you've done? Oh, about a six. Oh, well I don't feel sorry for you anymore, that's not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> six is totally doable. Seems to be I started something yesterday with the reintroduction of the egg mayonnaise sandwich uh, that we hadn't had in a very long time. Got some eggs there on the boil. I'm actually making dough in the bread maker and we are going to be having burgers for lunch with freshly made rolls. But I said to Paul, it's gonna be about an hour or two before those are ready and would you like a snack? And I was like, cereal or an apple or a packet of crisps, you know, going for that vibe. No, he said, well, I could do with an egg mayo sami. rain going on out there it's still warm but a little bit gloomy let's say which is kind of okay if you are painting an engine bay no distractions by a bright sunshiny day uh, wishing that you were enjoying the weather Paul is almost done it's coming to the end but he is so over it I can't stress enough how I'm not the one doing it but I'll just speak on his behalf it is horrid. In other news, we had a comment on one of our previous videos with one of our viewers asking us a three-part question. And those questions were, how long have we been in the UK? Why did we move to the UK? And do we make South African food? So I said to that viewer that we would get to them, but we receive a lot of questions like that and a lot of questions on Instagram as well, which we do respond to. And I thought it might be about time to do a bit of a Q&A video. So I've reserved my response because I feel that there is probably a lot of you out there with some lingering questions about our lives and you know what, we've just been blown away by your support over the past few months, so why not? Let's dive in and really get to know each other. If you wouldn't mind posting the questions to our Instagram inbox, just to keep them all in one place, drop us a DM and uh, make them interesting. Two full bellies and one painted engine bay. Sun's come out, let's go see what it's looking like out there. Another long weekend of painting again. 
nothing down to me. Definitely all to pour. It's just busy. Gonna hop in the shower now and clean up. And then we are actually going to see some friends, which is so fun and new and different for us. Uh, they are fellow boaters and they've just moored outside the marina. And uh, we're gonna trot on over and have a nice chilled out Sunday evening. You look fresh. Feeling better after your stage six paint job. Have a good week. Keep your teeth clean. <laughs> All the best advice guys, you get it here first. Don't forget to pop onto Instagram and send us your questions. Our handle is at Mel Paul Monroe. It'll be on the screen here. Have a good one and we'll see you soon. I'll see ya. If you start mooning people, we're not gonna have much of an audience left. Uh, yeah. That shot got caught because Paul is so hard to use in his underpants.